this past year has presented unique and significant challenges to all of us. The church has a significant role to play in helping our communities find healing and hope. And I believe that God has uniquely positioned Church of the Savior to rise to this moment. Over and over again, we've heard from our members and others who follow us that they believe in our mission and the work we share. Financial support has been generous and inspiring as we've been able to meet our existing priorities and pivot to meet the needs of our wider community through online worship and prayer, community blood drives, tangible support for teachers and schools, and more recently through vaccine clinics. Church of the Savior is filled with many amazing people. In 2020, because of your financial support and continued prayer, Church of the Savior has been able to contribute over $10,000 in direct aid to families who are facing crisis. The hunger issue that has been caused by the pandemic across Cleveland, because of your financial support, Church of the Savior has been able to donate over $35,000 to hunger programs in the greater Cleveland area. Our youth did not want to be left out of this. They were able to collect over 1,900 pounds of food and collect $1,700 in cash donations. When the pandemic hit last spring, we could not imagine that we would end 2020 with a surplus. But based on your generous support, good financial management and leadership within the church, we actually ended 2020 with a nice surplus. The leadership of the church, the pastors and the board have decided to commit over half of that surplus to address the hunger needs within the greater Cleveland area. We have been blessed and we believe that it is our opportunity to bless those in the greater Cleveland area. We're putting $50,000 toward feeding the hungry in greater Cleveland. Half of that will be invested in local neighborhoods of focus, while $25,000 will be contributed to the Greater Cleveland Food Bank, the leading hunger relief organization in Northeast Ohio. But we think that together, we can go even further. Many households received economic relief payments from the U.S. Treasury recently. Now, in many cases, that funding came just in time to meet critical needs for which we are all grateful. But for others of us, steady income and simpler living have made that funding less essential. What if we did our part to make sure that relief money benefits those who need it the most? So we've decided to make that $25,000 coming from Church of the Savior to the Greater Cleveland Food Bank a challenge grant, a kind of reverse match for our congregation. We think that with individual second mile contributions, we can double that amount. Jen and I are making a significant contribution to that fund ourselves, and we invite you to join us. Many of you who didn't qualify for federal relief payments for one reason or another have already expressed to me a desire to do more and to contribute to this effort as well. Thank you. Timing is everything, and we know this is coming right in the middle of our annual giving campaign. You've probably already received a letter about your financial commitment to the church for 2021. We would wait if we could, but we know the need is urgent and we want to act now. Please remember, the hunger appeal is a second mile gift. It is not in lieu of your regular faithful giving. We have much to do together as a church in the coming months that needs our prayerful financial support. So let's see how God can multiply our blessings as we bless others. Give online or by mail to the COTS COVID Food Bank Initiative between now and February 28th. The website is listed below. Feel free to call or email if you have any questions. And may the God of all grace watch over us and keep us now and in the days to come. Amen.